Alright, what's up everybody? Um, eggs and bacon here. I got some ranked gold three. Yeah, it's gold three. Uh, Draven 80 carry gameplay. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and fix this. Support with support. Jungler with jungler. Wait. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. There we... There we go. Alright. Now, we got some Draven 80 carry gameplay right here. Alright. Um, gold 3. Uh... Alright, I always like to start off my games. I got Braum support, I got Evelyn Jungle, me, Draven80 like Carry, Nidalee, Mid, and Lee Sin Top versus Yasuo Top, Pantheon Jungle, uh, Wow, that was a weird invade. Pantheon Jungle and Varus AD Carry, LeBlanc Mid, and Alstar Support. Now, just on uh, matchup knowledge, uh, Varus is, you know, Varus is a solid pick versus uh, Draven and Lane. He. If Varus gets ahead, I mean, really, one of the only ways to shut down Draven from 1v1ing the other AD Carry. Unless it's like a Twitch who just, you know, assassinates you and is pretty even or a little bit ahead. Um, a Vayne who condemns you against the wall makes you drop both your axes. Um, she can even just condemn you. Uh, Ash, I believe Ash is one of the greatest counters to Draven because you guys trade and then usually you start off with a crit and that counteracts his first Q and then boom. But, you know, this is just... This is, yeah, what, what was this? Oh, we were just trading. Oh, yeah, this was the, uh, I don't know if I was running lifesteal. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I got 5% lifesteal. Well, I guess I was. Um, one of the games I tried running just flats or uh, attack speed, and another one was armor pen, which is not bad. Armor pen's good. Another one I tried running 4% crit chance, and that was all right. I critted somebody once in lane, but otherwise the sustain from life steal is just is just too nice to pass up, especially just like with Caitlyn. Life steal's good as because it procs off his Q and it does more damage, so you heal more. And in all honesty, life steal is I still catch my axe, but props to hell spot. Oh, I couldn't get that one, I was like, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, but in all life honesty, the way I think is flat so basically you're gonna have nine AD added on, okay? So 15, so there's going to be per se 6 AD, you know, that you're going to have in lane. You're going to have 6 more AD. Don't know. I don't know how we got away from that. I'm like, oh shit, oh shit, I'm ready, I'm ready. Yeah, that was a little dirt by me. I don't know how we got away from that, but... It, back to my, uh, my uh, rant. If you think about it, 6 AD, so you're going to be doing about, what, maybe 5, five 6 more damage, right? Well, what the hell is 5 or 6 more damage when you have a Bloodthirster? Now, 5 more percent life steal? Add it on to whatever Bloodthirster gives you, like 15 or something. 20%. So 
So now you have 25%. So you're healing 25 per se uh, auto attack if you get just based on the bloodthirster stats instead of doing 106 more damage. Now I take healing 25 any day. <coughs> <coughs> but uh, Varus, not a bad pick against Draven. Um, in lane. He's got some good range. He's got some really good harass. But one good pick versus Draven is is Alistar. Because Draven and Lane, the, re the reason why I love Draven and Lane is honestly the, the damage output we do to the other AD carry. Or once you get ramped up. I mean, I, there, there's nothing. I love going like total god mode. Just basically, oh yeah, okay. So, you know, let's say I'm, you know, I'm versus the other AD carry. I have my fully stacked Bloodthirster and maybe attack speed boots, and they just have a BF sword and Vamp scepter. You're you're gonna shred through them, like honestly. And being that with Draven is really good, but the bad thing about Alistar support versus Draven is in lane. Let's say you're fighting it, all right. Usually you guys are either going to have Ignite or heal, Exhaust. So most of the time Alistars are going to bring Exhaust unless you're in high reload playing competitive play. But let's say you have ig Exhaust. You guys exhaust each other. Now I'm going to stick to their AD carry like glue basically because I know I can out trade him. As long as my support either helps me with the AD carry or just gets their support off me I know I'll win. But what is Draven without his axes? Alistar, he can honestly, with, with the Braum support or a melee support, he can just headbutt pulverize. You know, he can just, yeah, he can headbutt me away from the axes. Or just pulverize. So, you know, I don't drop my axes, they'll be in the same spot, but... Basically just do that, and then headbutt me, you know, he can, he can flash in, and, and they'll kill me. Like, they can just flash after me. Now I see Pantheon, and I didn't think this guy was gonna fucking flash. Oh yeah, they're pink in that. Very, very smart by Alistar, cause you know, Pantheon really easy lane for him to to gank is bot lane, so why not just you know do that? See right there. Exactly what I'm talking about. My axes were lost just because he headbutt pulverized me. Really annoying. But right here, what goes on? Maybe I should slow it down. Now right here, all right. Pantheon's here. Their support just hit level five. Now right here, this is about to go down. So I stand aside. All right, now I see Pantheon. Now I honestly didn't think this was gonna go down. I didn't think, so he goes on him, he's level four. Boom, flash. Pick up that kill. And, well, I think I go ham for Alistar. But, my CS right now is horrid. Um, we were getting zoned pretty hard because of Pantheon, he was babysitting. But, if you notice, Pantheon's level 5. He was level 4. Alright. Our jungler was level 7. Now, camping lanes is fine. You know, maybe if you can push the turret down. At least soak up Lanix speed, but if you're just waiting in this fucking bush right here the entire time, that's not gonna get you anywhere, in all honesty. <coughs> but, right now, we're a little bit ahead. CS wise, 44 to 63. Now, 
Varus, he should have just wasted, waited till he had a BF sword. I don't know why he has a pickaxe. Um, <sighs> the only pers person I'd ever advise doing that on is maybe Ash going for IE first. Right here, exactly what I'm talking about. Now I see that he's tanking. So what I wanna wanna try to do is I wanna try to stand aside his shit right here. So see I stand to the side. But LeBlanc's right there, so I was like, oh shit, oh shit. Well I just preemptively flash. And I don't think they're gonna die, but I wanna stay. Like, this is my one chance to get ahead in CS, or at least catch up. And I see LeBlanc's coming, so I'm like, yo, let's bait this shit out of her. And I get a shutdown. So. That's all right, but see right here. Despite my CS being 50, because I've been you know getting a little bit ganked, um, you know, and lane bullied out by Alistar, and th I, I believe this was not not to use excuse or anything. This was my first warm up game. I didn't do a warm up game. I just flat out went right onto it. Oh wow! Okay. Let's go ahead and back that up. So. Right here. Pick up a nice double. Now, what did I just make? I just bought a BS sword. Now, I have about 800 gold when I go back. That's a substantial amount just for coming to lane, throwing at your ult. I mean, we're about to get this tower. Instantly after that, we'll probably pick up Dragon. So, just snowball our advantage more. Pantheon is level 7 to our level 9. Our Evelyn's doing work, our top laner's doing work. And all in all, you know, it's it's just it's just going alright. Now LeBlanc and Alistar, I believe they were the duo. Cause Alistar kept roaming mid like for fuck it ever. Now right here, I don't know what. What she was thinking. Yeah, I don't think there's me getting away from this. Oh, yeah. He flashed on me. So, right there, in all honesty, if Pantheon wouldn't have... If Alistar wouldn't have flashed on me... <coughs> would have picked up an easy double. But the flash pulverized after the stun. So I'm 7-1 right now, 56 to 83 CS. But for some strange reason, this guy, he's he's saving for something. He's saving for a BF sword. He is 0-3-1, so he has one assist in money-wise. I have seven kills, not to mention Draven's passive stacks. You know, for his for my um my passive. So I'm I'm automatically gonna be richer. And, and since I've cashed out, you know, seven times. I mean that 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 adds up to like a hundred, two hundred, you know, shit like that. Just that much gold, more than him. So you know, yeah, sure, you might have 20 CS, which, in all honesty, could be like 300 more gold. But I have seven kills that could be worth 100 to 300 gold every time. So you know, I have like per se about 1,500 more gold than him. So I'm a whole. Uh, major purchase up on him, which is pretty good in my opinion, but <coughs> this game is already kind of snowballed out of the, out of their hands. Um, Yasuo is 0-6. He got dumpstered by my top laner. Um, bot lane's 1-6 together. The only person that's doing much is this You know, from what I could tell, she wasn't you know, Bjergsen. I think we clear this. Yeah, and I'm like, yo, I want this 
want this white wraith, but I mean, if I crit, I do so much. So he ends up picking that up. So he picks up a double right there. Um, makes a main one, man. If I would have got that double, would've nice. Probably would have been able to afford Shiv. In all honesty, I prefer um, Phantom Dancer. But <laughs> if I was CSing very well this game, like, like let's say I was eight and one with, uh, you know. Honestly, right now, well, we, we have been fighting a lot and doing a lot of ganks, but I could probably have about 100 CS right now. So I was 8-1 and one with 100 CS. I would have went straight Bloodthirster into Last Whisper. Last Whisper is just an amazing dead, like, I mean, you could be, you could be 3-1, and one, and the enemy AD carry can be 3-3, three and three, per se, alright? So your items will be, and, and he could be up on you 20 CS. So you both have attack speed boots. He has Bloodthirster and Beige, and you know he's he's working, and he's got uh, Bloodthirster, Beige, and we'll say Sheen. Well, don't know what we're doing right here. We're just kind of just going for kills. Right now. You know, I do enjoy that, but... But, I don't know, I just kind of wanted to end out the game. But as I was saying, you can be equal, and you'll have, you'll both have Berserker Greaves. I think we had, yeah, I ended up flashing over and going ham for that guy. But, yeah, we both have Bloodthirster, I got Berserker Greaves, he has Berserker Greaves, he has Phage and a Pickaxe, and I have just full Last Whisper, and we both have our Doran's Blades. You can almost hypothetically three-shot him. You hit him with, if you just have one axe spinning, you're just going to Q him, then get another auto attack, then catch your Q, hit him again, usually stand aside or stand aside immediately. Or try to interrupt his E when he does it if if you're like really well timed. And you know, just clean him up with ult, he will he'll take so much damage. It's basically doing true damage when you're hitting him at that. With Last Whisper at that early of a level. Their armor is almost non existent. I don't know if you've ever played if you've ever played Ez and you ran, you know, just So, I actually hit him, but I just, I couldn't kill him, I, I didn't tap it, but I don't know if you've ever played Ez against, like, an Annie, and you have, you know, just, just normal AD carry runes. Your Q, it, it takes, like, sometimes, like, two, two and a half of their health bars early. Now, right there. That kind of sucked. I forgot they had a Yasuo, so... And now I'll start Pulverize, it's just gonna demolish me. It's just gonna shit on my face. And you see what had happened there. That's an 0-7 Yasuo. And I'm... I was a... A 10 and 1. But they almost wombo combo me from full health just with like one or two autos from... Yeah, but see right here? You know, I'm catching back up in CS. Varus is doing nothing. He's got his finger up his butt lately. But he ends up going bloodthirster anyway after getting a pickaxe. He should have just He should have just saved his money and that would have been fine. I mean, there's no there's nothing wrong with coming back the lane and the opponent has a BF sword. You have you you can poke down with Q. I'm Draven, so I'm usually going to push the wave in a matter of, you know, whatever. Call Pantheon down for another gank cuz he was ganking you left and right with that Alistar combo. Who knows, just send fucking, just have Yasuo walk through lane and wait on turret. I mean, you're an Alistar, you can just flash, 
headbutt me. I'm Draven with no escape. I mean, yeah, sure, we have a Bra. I mean, if I flash out, there's a possibility to turn it. But in all reality, an ult from Lucian, I don't think it will be... I mean, an ult from uh, Varus, I don't think will be, you know, the the easiest to use on, you know, with Braum if he can block it, you know, with his W, but, um, otherwise, that was just some, some Draven gameplay, and I just want to say thank you all, I mean, I woke up, it, it, I think I've been, it's been like a month, or at least half a month before I, you know, where I uploaded my first video, probably about a month, but, you know, they, they, it it got a few views and then uh my Rengar top it got like fifty views so I was like, Wow, that's insane. I never thought like that could happen. And it just I I looked at my views one day and it was like seventy four and then the next day I came back and it was like ninety five total views. Then it was like hundred and fifteen, then it was like hundred and twenty eight or something. And you know in all honesty I I enjoy making videos, you know, I'm gonna start editing them. You know, soon when I get more time and I don't have to, you know, and I'm not working as much, but, you know, honestly, I'm loving the support. It's really helping me out. You know, who knows? Maybe I could I could do this and actually, you know, get a, a job out of it and, you know, not have to work out at a ranch or whatever, wherever the fuck I work. And, you know, maybe start streaming, start live streaming and just climb the ranks and, you know, entertain and just kind of live the dream, I guess you could say, but, you know, everybody that's, you know, I haven't gotten any comments yet, but I don't even believe, believe any likes, but just, just viewing it and at least clicking on it just means so much, and I just want to say thanks.